In today's video, we take a closer look at the cast of 2521. If you want to know who had a traumatic childhood, which one of the actors is a crazy BTS fan, and who had to step down from a drama because of a scandal, keep on watching. Choi Taejun. Our beloved Choi Taejun has been in the acting game since he was a literal child. He made his acting debut when he was only 10 years old in 2001 when he landed a role in the television series Piano. What many people might not know is that at one point, Taejun actually hated acting and was forced to do it. When he was a guest on the KBS's kids show Magic Kim Masuri, it was the last time he appeared on television before he quit the industry for eight years. Taejun later revealed that he took up acting only because of his parents and that he actually didn't like it at that time. He said, My mom would give me rewards and make me act. By the time I became a middle school student, I didn't like it. If someone would strike up a conversation with me by asking, Aren't you Magic Kid? I would start to fight them. Apart from seeing him in popular dramas such as A Girl Who Sees Smells, Exit, and Suspicious partner, people might also know him from some variety shows. The most prominent one being Hello Counselor, where he was a part of the hosting panel from 2016 to 2017. He was expected to appear in the popular K-drama Hotel de Luna, but Taejun decided to step down at the last minute. He even completed his script reading session, but ultimately decided not to continue with the drama. Since his decision was so sudden and quick, a lot of people suspected it was because of his relations with Jeon Dun Young, who was swept up in the Burning Sun scandal and is now serving his six-year prison sentence. Other than that, Taejun married his longtime partner, the beautiful Park Shin Hye, in January of 2022. Not only is Taejun a husband now, but he will soon become a father as well. Of course, I wish him and Shin Hye nothing but the best in their future. Nam Joo Hyuk. Nam Joo Hyuk's story is quite an emotional one. Born in Busan on February 22nd, 1994, the life during his childhood wasn't the best. When he appeared on the show Radio Star in 2018, he talked about how he struggled through his life before he became a well-known actor and a model. Joo Hyuk said, "It was really." tough for me and my family. For the whole year of third grade, I only ate cup ramen. We didn't even have a bathroom in the house. Even though his childhood wasn't the easiest, he pushed through it with his head held high. In middle school, he played basketball for three years and even dreamed of playing for the national team. Unfortunately, he endured a pretty serious injury and after getting surgery, the dream of playing for the national team vanished. In 2014, he kicked off his modeling and then shortly after started to pursue an acting career. He walked a total of 10 shows during the 2014 Seoul Fashion Week and then he made his acting debut in the show, The Idol Mermaid. Joo Hyuk's big breakthrough moment in the industry came with weightlifting fairy Kim Bok Joo. His chemistry was so strong with Lee Sung Kyung during the filming for this K-drama that they even began dating in real life, but sadly broke up just four months later after making their relationship public. Apart from 2521 and weightlifting fairy Kim Bok Joo, Joo Hyuk starred in drama series such as Startup, The School Nurse Files, and The Light in Your Eyes. I highly recommend you check these out and get a taste of Joo Hyuk's talent. Kim Tae Hee, born on April 24th, 1990, Tady initially thought her career path would be way different. With the intention of becoming a news anchor on television, she took up a college degree in journalism and communications at Kyunghee University. However, she later joined the university's theater club, which sparked her new love for acting, and her dream suddenly changed. Before she became the star of the show, Tady actually worked behind the scenes as part of the lights and sound staff until she began to get casted in plays such as Spoonface, Steinberg, and Pansy. In 2016, she became a star of the movie The Handmaiden after she beat all 1,500 people who auditioned for the role. Because she played her role of Nam Sol Ki in Orphan Thief so phenomenally, she was able to receive numerous Best Actress awards at different award shows such as the 37th Blue Dragon Film Awards, 25th Buil Film Awards, and 16th Director's Cut Awards. Tady's first K-drama project was in 2018, where she played the role of Goe Shin in the historical drama Mr. Sunshine. And because Tady has been so busy with all of her roles, there is not much known about her love life. We know that right now, she's single, or or she's super private about her life behind the scenes. In her current drama, 2521, she plays the role of a fencing athlete, Nahi Do, and so to master her role as best as she could, she attended fencing lessons for three months. Tady said, It's really, really such a fun exercise. I learned really enjoyably to the point where if I was born again, I'd want to do fencing. A fun fact about the actress is that she's actually a BTS fan. In an interview, she revealed that she actually really likes being a fangirl. She said, When I'm watching BTS videos, I realize that without even being aware, I have a really delighted expression on my face. It's my first time fangirling since I became an adult, and I really like the time where I can just enjoy something. Now that's a confession many people love to hear. Polna. I'm sure you've all heard of Polna at least once in your life because she is a member of the popular girl group Uju Sonia, otherwise known as Cosmic Girls. In the group, she is the lead dancer, vocalist, and she's also the visual of the group. She trained for seven years before she made her debut, and she trained for six years under Cube Entertainment and under Starship Entertainment 
entertainment for one year. A little fun fact about Polna is that she's actually a certified scuba diver. She had her acting debut in 2017 with the drama Hit the Top, and her female lead role happened in the teen drama Girls' Generation 1979. In 2020, Polna played a role in the drama Homemade Love Story, which earned her a Best New Actress award from the award ceremony at KBS Drama Awards. In 2020, Pona was swept up in a dating rumor with none other than Monsta X's Ki Hyun. It was rumored that since Pona and Ki Hyun were label mates and have known each other since trainee days, these two have been a couple for the last five years. Starship Entertainment quickly denied these rumors and stated that Ki Hyun and Pona are just a senior and junior from the same agency. Apart from being a giant cutie and incredibly talented, Pona once shared a terrifying story during her middle school days. During the episode of Late Night Horror Stories on NBC, Pona shared that when she was in middle school, she was actually stalked by a man who was around the age of a college student. Pona recalled that the man followed her all the way to her apartment and even asked for her number. When she tried to close the front door behind her, the man put his hand on the door, but Pona used all the strength she had to close the door. Thank God Pona didn't give up and fought the man off, because who knew what would happen if she didn't? Let's end this segment with some adorable pictures Pona posted with her and her bestie, Blackpink's Jisoo. I sincerely hope we will get to see more of their adorable friendship in the future. Choi Hyun Wook Choi Hyun Wook might be the youngest member of the 25-21 cast, but that doesn't mean he isn't successful. He is currently enrolled at the Hanlim Arts High School, and he is slowly becoming a more prominent face in the film industry. Born in 2002, he made his acting debut when he was just 17 years old in 2019 with the web series Real Time Love, and in 2020, he appeared in Pop Out Boy. But his so-called breakout role came in 2021 when he played a badminton varsity player Na Wu Tan in the SBS drama Racket Boys. This show was loved by so many people that it even got him a Best New Actor award for his role in the series. During an interview, he said, When I first started acting, I really wanted to win the Best New Actor award. I always imagined that moment inside my head, and even more so because I thought the Best New Actor award was far away from me. After receiving the award, I felt a lot of pressure and responsibility. Since his career has just started, Hyun Wook is focusing on himself only. There's no time for dating when he's just embarked on the road to stardom. Even though he is so young, Hyun Wook is already pretty successful and I can tell his success will grow even more in the future. Lee Joon Young Born on December 1st, 1993, Joon Young made her acting debut in 2019 with her role in the web drama called My Fellow Citizens. The year 2020 was a busy year for her as she appeared in different drama series. She appeared in everyone's favorite hospital playlist and had a supporting role in the series Missing the Other Side. Joon Young finally received the recognition she deserved in 2020 when she played a role in the NBC drama Kairos. Her role was so well loved that it brought her a nomination at the 2020 NBC Drama Awards in the Best New Actress category. Apart from that, Joom Young has appeared in a lot of music videos prior and during her acting career. The first one was Who's Got You Singing Again by Prep in 2016, followed by Don't Leave by Young Da Il. She also appeared in the music video for Don't Leave by Block B, and her most recent one was Tang by Mino in 2021. In October of 2020, Joom Young was also selected as an endorsement model for the South Korean makeup brand Hints. There isn't much known about the actress's love life. Either she is single, or she is super protective about her privacy, which honestly, good for her. Despite being quite new to the scene, she's absolutely rocking her role in 2521, and I can't wait to see more of her. Are you guys watching 2521? Let us know in the comments your thoughts, opinions, and everything. Thank you for watching. Bye.